Morning. Still Friday. What do I want to speak today is about hard drives. You know, how do we test the hard drives? How do we benchmark the hard drives? Let me show you how, how I test the hard drives. What do I have here? You see this cable? This is a SATA interface. I have to be careful because I'm alone in the shop. SATA interface. I can plug this on the USB, yeah? And we have a SATA cable, so we can connect any hard drive here. Yeah? This cable is proper cheap. You can buy the cable or you can take this interface from a external hard drive case. Yeah? Uh, let me switch on the... Uh, one second. One second. It's not that one. Oh, it is. Yeah. eBay, yeah? On the eBay, you have a drive SATA interface. You can buy something like that, but you can buy with the cable, it's more simple. This is for the big hard drives. Look, you can buy the cable. I can find it cheaper. I think you can find from China with like two, yeah, you see two pounds. Oh, look here. It's cheap, it's not expensive. Yeah? So it's not expensive this cable and on this cable you can connect any hard drive and also for data recovery yeah, you have to connect the hard drive and access the data the program what I'm using yeah the program I'll show you one second okay is called Crystal Disk Info, yeah? Crystal Disk Info. You click, okay, on the first link. You click on the link, and you have a button, download here, yeah? Click download. And you have start and standard edition, uh, edition, and you have installer.exe, yeah? This here, you click on this one, and it'll send you a different page and just wait and the launch will start. If the launch is not starting, yeah, you can click here. But you see it's downloaded already. The program is installed on my computer. So I'll not install it again. That's the program. I open the program. And actually, you can see here info about the hard drives. This is my hard drive. The program, it's a simple program. It's not a complex one. So actually, the program cannot see my M2 SATA hard drive, which is a solid state. You can see only my second one. But let's try... Let's plug a hard drive and check. Let's see this hard drive. Because many times when you have problems like Windows errors or Windows is not starting up or things like that, it is, it is the hard drive. Most of the time is the hard drive. When are the problems, the problems are coming, is the hard drive. So you plug the hard drive, yeah? And let's go back on the desktop. Yeah, and now we can open the program. And we can see that's my hard drive. And this, the second one, is this hard drive from the desk. Yeah? So we can see buffer size, RPM, power on count, yeah? And power on hours. And health status is good. Yeah, one second. 
One second. I'm really sorry, but I'm alone here and yeah, I have the customers. So that's the thing with the hard drive, yeah? You can see here all the data, but health stat status, yeah? Is good. So that means the hard drive is good, yeah? Let's check different hard drive. Let's switch, let's check different one. So that's good. Different one. Let me close the program. I'll close the program. I'll open the program. Okay, you see, you have pop up windows. You open the program. Five hundred gig, good. And you have all the data here. Yeah. That's the way how you check the hard drives. Let's check different one. I think I got some faulty ones here. Okay, let's switch. Now this is clicking. Uh, one second, one second. Let's... Mail. So this is clicking. It's not even point checking this one. Yeah. Let's connect different one. Let's connect this one. Yeah. Let's go back. And we still have the windows popping up with the data. Yeah. Well, let's open the program. And check on the program. You see, the hard drive is caution. That means it's gone. From my point, it's gone. You still can access the data. You can still save the data. But this hard drive is gone. You see this caution? That means it's gone. The reallocated sector count and who current pending sub sector count. So this hard drive is gone. You still you can access the hard drive, but it has bad sectors. On our bad sectors there, it's it's you can't count on this hard drive this this is gone you can't use it yeah 
Okay, let's switch different one. Like this hard draw. Yeah. Go back on the desktop. Let's open the program. You can see it's long, it's taking long and on the interface it's trying to read the hard drive, it's trying hard, but the program is not even opening. You see it's not it's not even open. I'll take the hard drive out. But you see the program cannot even read the hard drive. So that's the thing with the hard drives, are easy to be tested. Another one, yeah? Oh uh, yeah? Okay, so this is another hard drive. Let's open the program. One second, let me switch. One terabyte, zero hours. This is a brand new hard drive. Eight times power on. So this is a brand new hard drive, you see, good. So that's the way how you test the hard drive. What about benchmarking the, the hard drive? For benchmarking, I'm using... Uh, let me switch again. This, Blackmagic Design. You see? This software is nice. So you can select the source, select target drive, yeah? Let's say D. D it's okay and start. And I can test the hard drives. You see that's the easy way. And you can see exactly what you can get from your hard drive. Okay? Let's select another hard drive. Let's select my M2 hard drive. Select target drive. C See, you can use the, okay, my user, and let's start. That's M2, SATA M2. It's quite fast. So you can see, that's my M2 hard drive, I will stop the test. Let's connect a normal hard drive, yeah, let's connect a normal one. And test the speed on this one. That's connected. Uh, let me let me switch. Yeah, let's close the program. Maybe not. No. Okay, target drive. Target drive. Oh, sorry, one second. I think it's this H. Select start. Maybe not. Wow, that's my hard drive. Probably that's the USB speed. Let me try with a solid state one, one second. Solid state hard drive.
let's check with this one. You think it's this one? I no, you can't. Huh. Users. Okay, try here. Yeah, probably does the USB speed because the hard drives should be higher the speed. I my one uh, like this is a normal hard drive. The D one is just a normal hard drive, three point five inch. But anyway, you got the point. How you test the hard drive? How you benchmark the hard drives? Yeah. So that's the way how you can test and benchmark the hard drives. But keep in mind, yeah, because uh, most of the people they 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 think the computer is an electronic device, but actually the old hard drives, yeah, they are mechanical. They're like a hybrid, and inside there are some disks which are spinning fast, and actually does the memory. On on these days, yeah. And the solid state hard drive are quite old, like four or five years. If you if you if you have to use a hard drive, use a solid state one. Inside they have some memories, that's all. It's not mechanical anymore, it's an electronic device. Yeah. Personal, I have no computer. Yeah, I have. I have my, my iMac, my old iMac 2012 that still have a hybrid hard drive. I tried to replace the hard drive and not iMac and I cracked the screen a little bit. I couldn't replace it. But anyway, the other computers I have only solid state because they're very fast, yeah. And they never died. Okay. So if you have to use a hard drive, use a solid state one, you know. Are a lot better. Yeah. Are if if you compare size to size, the solid state are a lot more expensive. But you can get storage. You plug an external USB device and you can get storage. But speed, no, you can't get speed. The only way to get speed is to replace the hard drive with a solid state one. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you later.